as Pilaqueta battling away with Gabriel. It's a deeper one. This time it's troubling for Ramsdale and the Arsenal defenders. Out to Azpilicueta, now Loftus-Cheek trying to force his way into the Arsenal penalty area. Now the chase is on between Christensen and Nketiah. It's a short ball by Christensen. Nketiah's in here for Arsenal! And he takes full advantage! Capitalising on a terrible mistake by Andreas Christensen. It's Eddie Nketiah. Well, we talked about Arsenal making mistakes and then Chelsea come out, come out against them very, very quickly. This time it's Chelsea with a poor mistake and Ketia is onto it, shows good pace, but good composure as well. Look at this terrible back pass. And Ketia's there, he reads the situation, then takes a touch, just composes, slips the ball into the far corner. But Chelsea comes straight back again. Werner. Mount wants it square, oh, and the shot takes a deflection. Aaron Ramsdale can't do anything about it, and Timo Werner has responded. Barely four minutes after Arsenal took the lead, Chelsea are level. Chelsea won, Arsenal won. All the way back to Ramsdale. Very composed. Well, at least it was until that moment. Alonso nips in, his Werner, still Timo Werner. The cross comes holding as Ramsdale is out of position, but that's really good play by Granit Xhaka to bring the ball out of defence. Forward it goes to Erdegaard, and now Arsenal are on the counter again. Saka up against Saar, in it goes to Erdegaard. Laid off, Smith Rowe! Oh, Arsenal have done it again! They've turned defence into attack once more, and they punish Chelsea. Well, this is incredible stuff because Arsenal nearly gave the ball away again in their own box to concede the goal. They're all over the place defensively. Xhaka does brilliantly to bring the ball through in midfield. Odegaard then linking up with uh, Saka initially. And then can they, can they make this count? Can they make the final pass? Odegaard slips it across to Smith Rowe and first time side foots it into the corner of the net. No foul according to John Moss, Mount then guides it in and it's touched in at the near post by the Chelsea captain Cesar Azpilicueta. Arsenal caught cold. And just like they did after the first Arsenal goal, Chelsea have struck straight back. It's 2-2. That ball is given away by Azpilicueta. Tavares benefits from it. And Ketty with the turn. Oh, he's got the ball back. Oh, and he almost gets it a third time. And he does strike it. Third time lucky. And Ketty pokes it home. And for the third time in this game, Arsenal take the lead. And it's Nketiah's second of the night. Joyous reception from the fans behind the goal. And Chelsea calls their own problems, and once again, Nketiah capitalises. Such a mess. They're just getting a complete and utter mess, Chelsea, defensively. But Nketiah is first to react, stabs it home, and Mendy may also be thinking, should I have saved that? Chelsea... Retaining possession well here. Now they're threatening James with the cross. Ramsdale gets a touch. The rebound falls to Alonso. But an Arsenal player gets his body in the way and denies Chelsea another goal. Oh, nice play by the young Brazilian. Cedric looks up, delivers the cross. Saka can't get there, surely. He was being held back by Azpilicueta. John Moss agrees and Arsenal have a penalty in the very last minute of normal time. Well, he didn't have his eye on the ball at all. He was watching Saka. Second minute of added time, Bukayo Saka has the chance to seal victory for Arsenal in front of their fans behind Mendy's goal. And he does so. A huge roar from the Gunners' support. What a win for Arsenal. A real test after three straight defeats. 
and they've stood up to that test. And surely this is all three points at Chelsea. Chelsea 2, Arsenal 4.